Right, I'm nearly at the top. The only big hill today that we're climbing. Probably as high as, maybe not as quite as high as a, the one over there. I've taken a picture of Winscombe Church, St. James, I think it's St. James the Great. I'll just zoom in. One of those walks I often come by the church. Either way, in either direction, I will. And I go up through a lovely grove. Just above the church, there's a lovely drove that goes through a nice farm. And I, and I go round the hill. Or I come back that way. I think I'll always be going from Winscombe back that way, though, because of the unreliability at the moment of buses. Um, that's why I've got to get back to the four o'clock bus. Because I don't trust them at all. So... And it's a bit getting uh, dark. Now I'm just getting hay fever type problems. I was just saying to myself a minute ago, January and February, I usually have a lovely rest from hay fever. And, and my breathing is really good uh, in those two months. Uh, I've got a feeling there's another period, it could be September. There's another one where I get a little window of relief from the asthma, from the pollen, from anything else. And I'm now entering this past week, the sneezing has started. The runny nose, it's not a cold. It's all to do with allergy. Right, we just go over to this gate. I've got a picture of my sister Jude leaning on a gate and I have never really been able to find out well, I haven't asked anyone, but is it this one, I wonder? Now, you see that structure there? In the hill? That's probably the remains of an old lime kiln. The farmers all had them. But I've got a picture of my sister Jude by a gate like this. I'll have to check it again to see if that, that hill and those two trees are there. And she's looking over. She's got a rucksack on and her shorts and her walking boots and she's looking this way now if I zoom in from here we can see the <sighs> Iron Age hill fort of Banwell with the big tree on the top which I've had a picnic under in the past they don't like you going on there and most of the year they have cows on there then there's Banwell Wood and then over there and I, I, I know all this, I've walked this a lot, all this area not far from Western Supermare and of course there, that hill there, that's the, where the Sanford Quarry is which I walk up through, I get off sometimes there walk, a lovely walk across the top there then down over to, which you can't see at the moment, Robert Row now my bus Sometimes I will get the bus and go on the road beyond that and I get off further over by the Nelson Arm pub to Robero. These are going to be some of my walks because sadly they've stopped the 126. Absolutely unbelievable how they've stopped such a main bus because they say it's not used enough. Absolute rubbish and twiddle. I use it, I was using it every single week, sometimes twice a week, if not three times. And I saw lots of people are also dependent on it. I mean, you, you should be able to use a bus if you've retired and you're not working anymore. You know, just because not all the workers aren't using the bus, they don't see it as reliable, that's why. It's a main route. They've got hundreds of buses going to Bristol all the time. All they had to do is cut one of those. They run every 20 minutes. It's ridiculous. So I've had to improvise. I mean, plan A this year was supposed to get a little car and go off and do family tree. But now I don't know how long it's going to take my wrist to strengthen up again. And you have to change gear usually with this hand. Plus the bang on the head. 
Um, so I, I've put it, put it to one side, and I would do day trips using buses. Ha 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 ha! Buses, coaches, and trains. This year, day trips and long weekends. Anyway, we're at the gate, and we're now entering the drove. Okay, no sign. Where's the sign gone? There used to be a sign here. It's a lovely old drove, this. A little bit more exposed now. The sign's gone. That used to be on here. I'm telling you that this is Shoot Shelf Hill. All this is Shoot Shelf Hill. And there'll be a big mast somewhere over there. So this is Sheila, it's probably about the fourth video. The very first one was using the Sony. This is the Kodak Mix. And um, I'm just hanging onto the camera for a bit longer to take lovely views over there. Like I said, it could have been my sister Jude at that gate down there. I need to ask where that picture was taken. Oh, there's loads of gates and fields all over the country, but I just felt like I recognised the scene. Like I said, she died on my daughter's birthday five years ago tomorrow. It's gone very fast. Still don't feel like she's gone. We didn't see so much of each other for quite a long time, really just one of those things that happens when you're busy working. I was working, running a family. I was very active. I belonged to stuff. I was always out. And I know it's, it created a few tensions when you don't see people a while. They, I, I can't explain it really on both sides. Anyway, she knows that uh, I think of her on my walks always. I think of her a lot and I miss her a lot. Anyway, over and out for right. now. Still on the drove, which has probably got a proper name. Over there we've got the mast on Shoot Shelf Hill, there. In a minute. I used to walk across these fields somewhere and come out by a stile. And the stile would take you down by the those trees there. In a minute, it would come across the stile and it takes you, and then you get over it and you go down and you can join up with the West Mendip Way. So if I had all the time in the world now, and I'd, I could sometimes I used to change direction just like that when I had my van. When you're dependent on buses, no flexibility. It dominates you, especially when a really good bus service has ended and you're having to deal with one that's, just, you know, not quite reliable, you know what I mean? Right, now hidden here somewhere used to be a style, a very old style. I'm hoping it's still real. There's a big stone. Some lambs out over there. Got to be quite close now. And of course, I used to come in from a field, probably up in the corner here, I expect. I just found my own way, which I'm going to do another time. I'm going to do the opposite direction one day. But we should come out by the stile in a minute. Now, I can't see no cows. This is still a good time. If you want to explore areas where there's no cows, or different routes that you take sometimes, which you won't do in the summer when the cows are about, you won't do them. Now I can hear the quarry, which isn't very far ahead of me now. And like I said, we're doing a big circular around Shoot Shelf Hill. That's the symbol of Shoot Shelf Hill, that mast there. I'm going to be swooping back round it, going back to Winscombe in a nice gentle pace. We will just take photos of the reservoir today and we won't be going in the village. 
because that, if I go into the village to look around the church or anything like that, I've then got to climb up a hill, right? Whereas at the moment we can just, they might have taken that style out, you know, because they don't want people going in there. It's all newly fenced as well. It isn't far from here because I remember it well, getting over it and getting over there and walking down the other side of those trees. Sheep in there at the moment. Aha, but look here folks, look here folks. Here we've got a style. There's another one, I can see the big slab. We'll look at it in a minute. So this is the gate. If I want to get back to Winscombe quick now, I would just follow this one. There's this gate over there. Right, I probably went and gate there, knowing me. This is this is all new. We never had all this um, quite as much. And then over here, I will be doing this. I'll video it coming from that way another time. I'll do that when I actually go to the reservoir or I go to the village. Now, they've now put a gate in and in a way it's protecting this big old stile. There's a small stone you put used to put your foot on that, grab old and climb over and I've actually climbed over this on several occasions and walk across a mucky field down through the wood there onto the West Mendip Way then over towards Shipham and Robero. But I've actually been over that style and I've got images and probably a very crude video of me doing it as well. All saved by the way. I've got records of all these disappearing little walks and looks to me like they're going to do something else to it Bump from that planning thing on the tree back there. Yeah I can hear the quarry, I can hear the chug 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 of the big bulldozers or whatever you call them and uh, yep so there we go there's the gap there that you would go down to meet the parallel route I'd done the upper one on purpose because I'm doing a Winscombe circular with Shoot Shelf Hill as the main reference point now this doesn't mean I won't get lost by the way because a part of a route which I've wanted to do for ages I am now going to do so you if the 126 had still been operating I would have been making my way to Shudder you know? I won't be going on this circular in a way it will be in stop for a while I hope not forever it's enabling me to do a bit more of what I call local got those little paths you never thought about you just used to pass them and think oh I might do that one day but you don't but now you can because you're trying to explore the area because you're restricted from here it would still be quite a hike for me to get to Cheddar but I would do it and I used to do it I can see the big start of the quarry there. Now this used to be beautiful fields all the way along. I even spoke to the archaeologists that were putting trenches in before they started to keep digging. Before the quarry was expanded. I, I spoke to the archaeologists. I've even got some of them on video again. All recorded. All this land before the quarry I've got on video. Several times when I've been walking back and forth. Now, if you, when you get up here by a gate, you've got to go either left and walk right round the quarry to pick up a path to take you down to the Shipham Cheddar Road, which you must be very careful on. You cross over and you'll pick up a small pathway. And then that takes you up over that way towards uh, Piney Slikes, all that sort of area around there. But in a minute, I'll, I'll be going, unless they've banned for all I know, I could get up here and they're not letting you go that way. In which case, I've got to turn back. I would turn back and go through that gate there. If this is not allowing me, this doesn't allow me in a minute, 
I'll just do it, I'll walk across the fields. I will do a circular of one way or another. Now I'm just encompassing a slightly larger circular than doing that one. Um, you see, there's no way you'd ever get back in an hour, even now, to get that one o'clock bus. It's just nearly midday already and we haven't even done anything yet. Right, I'm going to chill off for a minute and I'll come back home when we're at the quarry.